Fun times in Cleveland ahead as we join you by the lakeshore here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Cleveland Browns. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Watson, off play action. Cooper fast with a feet, and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 32 that time. The things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. On first down, Watson. Got a man. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 39 yards. And the Browns march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their own 21. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Two and now on first down. This one complete to Jalen Water. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. 
Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now an option play on second down. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Siaki Ika in to haul him down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, a run by a champ. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. About this defense, they came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Well, they'll say no to the 46 yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll go. HM. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And this Browns defense stands tall. So their first drive of the game already trailing, having given up points. But a little surprised that they went for it, right? Maybe the big guy, the head coach, senses this is going to be a shootout type of a game. That they've got to match them point for point as opposed to, hey, we'll, we'll get them later. Maybe he just has that sense, and that's why he decided to go for it there. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 33, here's a second and five. Now Watson. It's caught. Cooper. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back and He's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, ball hardly hit the ground. And I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Watson's throw complete there to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. To the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of the times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. For those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. 
Second down. Here's Chubb again. The solid stiff arm. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And again, it's Chubb. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. A give running right is Chubb. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's third and nine. To throw is Watson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Browns lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 so Miami coming out for their second drive they've been outplayed early no question down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10 They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Safety Grant Delpit up to make the play. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On play action, here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout as they deal with an injured player, and it's Tyreek Hill who is the man that's in some discomfort right now. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Two and now on first down. And that is incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. It's caught inside the 25. They're all the way in from a Miami 
touchdown. Anthony Schwartz, 55 yards. And the Dolphins have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. it usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. From the 31, here's second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first down, it's Watson. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. Touchdown! Jerry Judy, 27 yards. And the Browns have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down.
Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, put the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Meanwhile, two is throws taken in by Waddle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Here's Tua. Short throw to Smith. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. It's going to set up a tough third and nine. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Now Tua. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession touchdowns on their first three possessions I mean this defense they can't seem to stop them it's like they're on skates great analogy Brandon because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone so to themselves all they're saying is if we don't make a mistake there's no way they can stop us 64 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They run again on first down, Chubb. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. They toss it left side to Chubb. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Now what a first down pickup of eight. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, 
They knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. Here's Watson. Option left. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. And the ball is in. Watson lost it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there, ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Here's Watson. Escapes the sack. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Nothing like understanding where your escape hatches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Miami set to take over. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and two. Tua going to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. 
And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And credit the tackle to Juan Thornhill. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That one complete to Hill. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now Achan on first and 10. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Looking to pass to him. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Cleveland offense making their way out. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Watson. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, here's Watson. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down.
On first and ten, Watson completes it right side to Cooper. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? Here's Watson now on second down. This short pass into the hands of the Joker. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. That's caught left side by Judy. Five yards, now it's third and five. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Hopkins' kick is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Set to return, here's Raheem Mostert. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any one of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Throw caught by Achan. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. Takes it to about the 37. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. 
Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 35, here's second down and three. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. Throw left side, there's Schwartz with it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Tua. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 34. Sanders' kick is good, and that will close the gap down to 14. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. On the return, here's Jerome Ford. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter.
Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and five. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Watson to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and ten. Back to throw. Watson targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To the air yet again, Watson. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. Fighting through. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. I'm not sure that the surprise was that they actually faked it. And that's classic territory to go ahead and do it. The surprise to me is that they were successful. I'm not sure the defense was really prepared. And now they're going to keep the drive alive here. Really big play on the fake punt. He's got the connection to Moore. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and three. They give the chub out of the gun. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eating up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run it again with Chubb. 
And Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Final minute now of the third quarter. Watson off play action, rolling to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So now here come the Dolphins. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored him, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Tua sets up to pass it. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The Dolphins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Tua going to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. 
Looking to pass. Tua. On target over the middle to Hill. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Tua. Open man, here's Schwartz, complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. H.N. gets it from the gun. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Two and now on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. This is caught. And the Dolphins are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to score. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Anthony Schwartz with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way, so it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Here's Watson now on second down. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first and ten, Watson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 113 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And again, it's Chubb. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the night. And the Browns are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. It's one play at a time, baby. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. There you go, right now. We got a big time. Let's go. Let's go. 
Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Two and now on first down. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up big plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. It's Hill, complete. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll leave him with third full yard to go here's tongue of I low to throw and to find the open man that's complete now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game Tua setting up shop to throw again toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. He'll just get rid of it. All right, Captain. He's batting down the hatch. He's tied defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're trying to dial up that thing? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Two and now, third and goal. Touchdown, Dolphins! Devon Achan from four yards out. And the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And did the Dolphins get it? Yes! Miami football! Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. One final try for Tungavailoa. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with 